Yo, what's going on guys? The Allison here here coming at you with my next installment of HeroCraft. Yes, I know it has been a while since I've uploaded about six days now. That's due to some personal reasons. I'll get into that in another video. But um yeah, right now I'm looking off my balcony of my brand new house that I have completed during my absence. Right here you can see I have the back balcony as well. Great view all around got a nice patio right here I'd still need to fix the um, I'm looking for some birch wood to fill in right there the sunroof and um, yeah I'm still working on the interior designs of this so I should get this place looking nice and spiffy for you guys very soon and right here I have the outside looking pretty nice with some nice plants right here on shelves and I still need to get more trap doors to finish this side but today isn't about my house and its fixtures today is about my farm as you can see my farm is lacking n I, I don't know the word just I'll say niceness if you could count that as a word it's kind of a poor farm and I'm getting tired of you know coming over here and using all my bone meal and waiting for it to grow and mining it myself and harvesting it it's a long process so today we're gonna make an automatic farm so for that, we're going to need a lot of cobble, as you can see, I have all this, and this episode's all going to be about our new automatic farm. Now, I thought, since I already started the farm right here, it can um, be here, but I think I'm going to make it face that way, as the enter entering point, as, or whatever. So, we're going to make an automatic, um, I'm not sure, it might be a wheat farm. I think a wheat farm is best. So... Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to clear out this old farm and I'm going to get the base set for our new farm. So, yeah, so it's not that time consuming. So, yeah, guys, I'll be right back. Just wait. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we have the layout and structure that we want for this to work. Right here, I have the redstone in the back using these pistons to hold up the water that we're going to get very soon. I covered it up a bit. It's going to look you're not going to be able to see any of this in the back when it's finished and let me just go get some water I need a bucket okay I'm pretty sure I have at least one I made earlier where is it there it is shouldn't be a problem with the water situation because of the infinite water source we made just gonna take a couple trips back and forth and let me place the glass down before I put the water in. So let me just hop up here and put our first block of water source down. Finally, the last block of water, and now we can actually make this look cleaner. I'm not really going for, like, looks for this because it's mainly going to be used for its function functionability because it's less work on my part for it, so... Huh, I'm actually just gonna Can I reach that? Alright. One more out. Lots of cobble. I'm actually very glad I went mining before this. Alright, there's redstone on top of that. And uh, Okay. Now all this is gonna be covered up with the building that I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a structure over it and right here you can see I dug out a, I dug out a little gully here and that's going to be for all the crops to cycle through once they drop off of here with the water pushing down they're gonna cycle through and all go down in a line and go into a hopper hooked up to a chest so I don't have to pick them all up so I'm gonna get ready to work on that and you guys are gonna have to wait again 
Alright guys, and we're back for the second or third time. I can't even count how many times I cut this video up. And we fixed everything, so nothing's showing. I have the water running through to keep all this farmed. Farmed all this out, and right here, I have the water running down into a little ditch where I'm going to have a little walkway down there to access the chest full of all our goods here. And we're going to give it a nice little test run. Pull the lever in the back, the sound of the water going through, trampling all the crops, emptying out right here. Once I release the lever, the water will retreat and will push all the crops. I'll so say these cobblestone blocks are the crops. They will eventually travel their way down into the little ditch where my hopper will be hooked up to my chest so there you have it guys my automatic wheat farm and I'm gonna show you the structure I'm gonna have around it it's gonna be some kind of factory or building type maybe even a barn I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet but you'll see that in a later video I hope you enjoyed this I'm trying to get back on my upload schedule I promise you that and um, I'm, I'm out guys peace